WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. This is the 4 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Our update. This is Basil Chapman here. The Dow closed up at, almost at the high of the day, up 386 at 33,390. That was a fabulous follow-through session, but a lot more work needs to be done in the Dow for the technicals to actually turn positive and for it to finally get across that uh, barrier at 33,700, that blue line that you can see on the left side chart. But it was a terrific move. Looking at the S&P, also a very strong move. The S&P up 64 at uh, 45.48, closing almost at the high of the day. Uh, this one is, is getting closer to seeing the nine uh, period moving average get over the 14. That would be a big thing. And the MACD to turn up. But so far, it's got a lot of work to do, but it is a very nice pattern. We're looking at looking at the QQQ is the NDX 100 uh, up six points at 299.63. The barrier will be at the two, uh, 299. Well, I, I would say 300 to 303 level. If it can snap through that early next week, that's going to be a big thing. Uh, key support is at 295. Looking at the um, IWM, the Russell 2000, yeah, very nice session. Uh, in fact, it's improving a lot. Um, can this mean that the small caps are going to start to lead? <laughs> we'll see. It's a big ask, but it's a possibility. Can't ignore it. Gold was up sharply. Gold was up $20 at 1861. Very nice follow through from two days ago. And yesterday took a bit of a breather. This is nice action. And the magnitude is almost turning positive. That's a good sign. I still think uh, gold is going sideways rather than to break to the upside. But this is very good action. Looking at the gold index, uh, sorry, the dollar, the dollar was up uh, earlier on. Then it closed down about 45 ticks at 104.53, right under the 200 period moving average, which has been hugging for a while. So what happens next week if the dollar goes to 105.60, that's going to be a big deal. That'll start new leg D in the daily chart and be a big positive. But a pullback under 104 at this particular time will help gold. Uh, we're looking at the uh, bonds. The TLT had a very sharp move to upside. That means yields actually came down. I think that was also a big move. Uh, to help the general market. So putting it all together, what we're looking at is for next week, if the Dow is able to move up on Monday or Tuesday about 150 to 200 points, that's going to be a big deal. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it has to have a bit of a pullback, but it needs to recover by Tuesday or Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend, and uh, we will see you Monday, and Tom will be back. Thank you.